Ladies and gentlemen, the legend Insomnia Virus has hit every round 100 on BO3, not only in just 14 days now. Was, is this going to be beaten in seven? Is somebody going to be able to do two maps in? And literally, now he's done it in seven. I just said it myself from a past time in the video. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to witness it. This is including Chronicles as well. He's got all of the time steps up here on his previous record. Is this going to be beaten at seven? <laughs> oh, man. Round 100 on all BO3 Zombies maps in seven days. Classic Gobble Gums only, including Chronicles. Insomnia, this is a monumental day. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do this. This is crazy. Like, 10, 10 zombies um, a shot with the Wonder Wop on the Giant. Every other map is pretty much as easy as it possibly can get. Shang is going to be difficult. Will I be able to do every round 100 on Classics? I don't even know, man. Day 1, December 24th, 8.30 PM. This is crazy. What I had on mine was to try to get at least two maps completed. Best Shadows is a good one to start off with. Which maps the top donor picks. It's an easy one to get through. There maps with only seven days. That's crazy. I had to at least average two maps per day. Two maps a day. I had to start off with Shadows of Evil. That is actually hard. Last time when I completed the 14 days challenge. Look at this. Look at the time slips. He's got 18 hours here for Nocturne Toten. Some of these are literally all almost over half a day so to do two of these in the same day is Final absolutely four months ago absurd when I that does not map, make any I never sense had a great impression i found this map to be really confusing with yeah. how the beastie mode thing shadows was. used Setting to be really difficult was simply but annoying. everybody knows that, now. anything you do including building the wonder weapons yeah the apothecon sword was just a pain now let's oh, not yeah. discuss further about how to upgrade the sword because that part was also oh, tedious all the shadows is tedious playing the map guy. more i slowly started enjoying but we the map love it. and decided to grind for a round 255 with classic gums only which i eventually achieved after a hard three to four months of grinding of around course, 100 grinds i normally so sell incredible. it a bit differently no and need yes. to worry about perfect box for any of these 100 also to preface insomnia virus is one of the top world record holders for a lot of the high round records especially recently on cold war so Brian, this man time is quite is the tight perfect a bonus for this. if you get lucky and actually get the perfect box i yes. normally always go for jug first ideally yes. it's best to not have jug at waterfront face upon myself because i literally have jug at waterfront <laughs> <laughs> no. it's keeping the gate at the district close so it'll just be more of a hassle to try to get set up. Next, yeah. I grab stamina up to have increased mobility to be able to move faster. That's a great then I grab first perk and second and perk. No matter how course. fluent you are with the map, you can't you risk not buying quick for this challenge. Exactly. Lastly, I bought speed yeah, cola. I can't waste Normally any time. Normally for a 255 grind, I speed personally cola, would not you buy speed it. as it's to not go faster. due to having the ability to attach fast mags ready on your wall buys. That but is for true. I like the better with speed since I could reload. It is better the with the apothecary. Exactly. So the first 50 rounds of doing the waterfront strat is quite fast. It's crazy. Doesn't even have to do is spam your polygon and yep. make sure to rotate your gobblegum psycho. There are yes, only three exactly. spawns while doing the strat. Keep in mind that the chain trap does instant kill. An hour in, so he's on round 30. Out. That Once is you impressive. 50, you will have to start comboing your apothecon shots with the sword. A couple right. important things to keep in mind and is that the bug are every blasters. five to nine rounders and yeah. the margo rounds are every four to You get a lot of maxes so once you on hit round 80 mark, easy. this is where you're going to have to do a bit of training and yeah. use your cuda with blast furnace. I think this is the only map where blast furnace is actually essential. I you need to try up your apothecon sword the best ah, interest aka dead wire i hope this is what everybody's gonna agree on but for some reason just doesn't charge up your sword which makes this yeah and so the other thing is that blast furnace still in 2023 can kill a whole horde whereas dead wire cannot and also interesting like he says it charges up the sword faster which is way more Not better ideal than anything else high rounds very the interesting map. the waterfront strat can be quite difficult to get used to so yes the last 20 that you rounds keep are on your shield and always try to grab a new one when you yeah. get the chance upgrading yeah. arnie's are a plus for this as it can give you drops as well as activate for a longer period oh of time. interesting so we and they can probably Kill pretty late in the rounds. Flawless. Wow. A little over four hours, which is awesome. considered to be quite slow. That so is I pretty good. At about three hours and about 30 minutes. But who cares? Dude, for Since classics. The thing about this challenge is trying to get every map done in one go. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. And Just waste even more as time. long as you get yeah, it done. The second map, we Moon have is an interesting one to do as well. to reach round 255 four Ooh, months ago. It's so obvious. You always want to try to get jugs. That's got it. And build enough points to be able to obtain it before taking the teleporter. Okay, so like you to have get to get jugged first. On this map, since pull. you can sort of just camp here for the early rounds and be able to rank up a tons of points. Ah, Next, I would make my okay. way to the tunnel six and grab the MP5 
and sort of just camp there for another couple rounds. Cool thing about staying here is that no zombies would ever spawn from the door right next to me unless you purposely go through the door. After you have ranked up enough points, next thing is pretty much just hitting the box yeah, for the wave gun and just gotta device. Go to power, now, RNG on. for some reason is absolutely oh, on moon, terrible on terrible. this map. There were games yes, that I have played in the so past bad. where I couldn't even get set up past round 30. Luckily yeah. in this game, Especially I managed to get my classics. curses by round 12. There Honestly, go, I gotta have to admit that these special grenades are still my favorite in zombies. They're yeah. honestly just way too good. And you can also Obviously, jump through the portal the and also teleport. So then I managed cool. to get the wave gun by round 18. And which is actually pretty good RNG That's not too me. bad. Now yeah. it's time to head over to tunnel 11 and start doing the and high round strategy. Shot. My perk setup lines. was the exact same as my Shadows wow, of Evil game. So Speed Cola is same. much more useful on this map since the wave gun reloads extremely slow. You can't and get for those who didn't know, Speed Cola also helps you to hack your drops quicker when using the hacking device. One thing that I find amazing about this map is generally how fast rounds fly despite without oh, yeah. having any bonus rounds. The, the this strategy is a true spawn strat which yeah. requires you to spam your wave gun through the barrier it's eliminating so nearly all the zombies with every single option. shot. I think oh. a lot of people actually dislike this map mainly because of the astronaut and having to save the excavator every other couple but rounds. But guess what? Deal. Snap on dead wire on your gun and, and you can simply kill. instant kill him on yeah. any round. The excavator is actually quite simple as well. Once that. you hear that sexy announcer, simply rush to the spawn, throw a gurge, unhack the panel, and jump to the teleporter yeah, to make the return. Know how to Don't play forget, guys, Speed Cola helps make this progress so quicker. Incredible. The Tunnel 11 strat yeah. is pretty much the same for the whole run. Just yeah. make sure you try to space out your drops so that you can replenish your wave gun ammo by using the hacker. Since the wave gun doesn't give any drops, if at any time you find yourself low on ammo, you will have to do a bit of training with dead wire on your CUDA. This map is one of the fastest yeah, again, rounds on Black Ops 3, rounds, so it's quite it's easy pretty, to achieve once cool. you get to know the basics dude, of this map. And hours. we were able to finish off this map with wow. another flawless run at about Sheesh, 3 hours and 30 minutes. Insomnia, at this moment, I was actually feeling okay, not too fatigued, although we had been grinding for nearly the 8 The hardest I would say is when he gets to Shang and Knocked. If he gets hours, to Shang any and breaks. Knocked, Next map was supposedly to be Kino, which I was quite excited Kino for because be it was easy. going to be another yeah. fast map, but yeah. at the most unexpected timing, chat overtook the top dono and picked Knock the Kill to next. No! I was like, no! No! I was not prepared for this because I knew that this map was going to be at least a 15 plus- Why would you dick him like that? That's horrendous. You give him Nocturne Toten right after he does two of the easiest ones. Oh, pitiful. Our grind. And there was no way of Noct is the hardest to one. off this map within the first day. So oh. I had to plan things out and hopefully try to get Noct out of the way by the end of day two. Oh my Moving gosh. on to the third map now, Noct there on Totem. Where are zombies off you can. Why have At this moment, this? Although we had already completed two maps within the first half of day one, I was still not very confident on whether I could complete this yeah, challenge. No, Remember, in difficult. order to be on the right track, we must average at least two maps per day, and two knock day. is a crawl. Yeah. The early rounds are quite easy, since yeah. all you need to do is to try to rack up as much points as possible, to try to get your four perks from the Wonder Fizz, and obtain the Thunder Gun from the box. Exactly. The four perks I've chose for this run was Jug, Stam, Quick and meal kick. A lot oh, of people so may not be no aware of this, cola. but if you took out the ray gun or the mark two from the box, you can no longer be able to obtain the other one. That right. being said, having meal kick allows me to store one of those two weapons in my hand, which eliminates it's the odds of getting weapons. them from the box ah. so that I could have a slightly greater odd of getting back the thunder gun. Part of the reason why this smart. map is generally super slow is due to spawns and box trades. The right. spawns are so slow, and yes. sometimes makes me wonder if the zombies are glitched out. The first 60 <laughs> rounds of this map is surprisingly quite fast due to not needing to do it's because they're spotting on Verrucked while they're playing in Noct, bro. Any box it takes so long For the strategy, you can either use the Mark II or the Thunder Gun to kill. Thunder Gun is I would trade the zombies best, in the help say. room and kill yeah. them off near the stairs. Again, After this strat in Noct, in every single Nocturne Tone, the fastest strat is to buy the help room door and to literally just hoard here. In any video game for Noct, which is insane. Other than the machine, I guess. That quickly run to repair a couple borders at the window right next to the CUDA. This will delay the spawns from this window, which surprisingly makes this training strat a bit easier. Wow, also, just make sure you cycle through your gobble gun for that alchemical. Yeah. In with this the classics, game, you I actually got pretty lucky cycle. with my drops and gumballs, so I think I ended up doing my very first box trade on round 66. Box Shoot. trades are quite tedious on this map because That's sometimes insane. trades can take up to an hour depending on armor. And keep in mind, he can't use double AATs in here, double PAP, because he doesn't, he can't run megas, so that's the problem. Can't get bullet boost, can't get wall power or anything like that. Man. After five hours that's into crazy. the game, 
I was starting to feel quite tired. Of I believe course. I took an hour break. I wanted to go take a shower, hoping it would have waken me up, but oh, turned out it just real. made me feel more sleepy. I oh, wanted to try to hit yeah. round 80 by the end of day one, but it's sad. For my high round players, this is what I've noticed. When you're in a run, you need to just stick to the run because when you separate yourself from the run and you get out of the rhythm of how the high round goes, you get worse and that's what causes you to down. So I totally relate with that. I ended off in round 68. Up to this point, I restrained for 17 hours. I didn't want to go take it down and yeah, ended up having the start to fatigue. Going. So this oh, is the start of dang. day two of the challenge. At good, the end of day good, one, good I think I ended stop. up sleeping for about six hours-ish. Wanted to sleep more, but couldn't because we had business. To two and a half maps on day one, especially with Nocturne and Toten being that half map. I'm telling you, Insomni, you got this Yo, on the wall. Although right? we were early Nobody at round 70, we weren't even halfway through completing this map. I think most maps, round 70 to 75 is the halfway mark to round 100. But yes. for this map, I would say roughly round 80 due to... I would, I would usually say for any map, it's usually about the round 80 point, which is the halfway point. Most people are like, no, it's obviously 50 because that's the halfway point. It doesn't work like that because each zombie round has a specific number of zombies. So usually... At round 80, it's actually the halfway point, especially on a slow map like Noct. Box trades. My goal today was to complete Noct, and hopefully if we have time, we could try to complete the next map, depending on which the top dono picks. Rounds For at 80 real. plus Give started to feel very one. long, as it oh, required at least one box trade per round, Let's if you go. didn't have Alchemical. Yes. Round 90 plus was even Insane. worse, because I was averaging about two box trades per round. Oh, Up to now, terrible. I was still flawless. Up until round 91, I made a very And so what people, if you don't know what that means, he has to cycle his Thunder Gun out twice around to go through the round because nothing else will kill the zombies which is insane Stay. the one zombie from the window got me stuck i even noticed oh, the zombie no. right before i did the u-turn i think when i did my 14 days oh, challenge attempting this map it. I also took my first down due to the exact same oh, way as well. No. After taking this down, not can be a bit difficult in trying to yes, rebuy back your perks. Sure. Luckily, I had in plain sight, but I still had to be extra careful oh because getting gosh. a game over with 13 hours clocked into the game would it's also painful. mean the challenge is over because yeah, I couldn't afford exactly. to lose 13 hours when time is oh already so tight. Gosh. After what getting back one. my perks, I was finally able to calm down a little. I know we were only around cool. 91, not a very big deal, but knowing that if I choked on 91, would have led to a challenge over, puts a lot of pressure on my shoulder. Rounds were starting to average about 20 plus minutes per round. Wow. At this moment, I just wanted to get over with this map and move on to the next. On round 99, I calculated that I needed to do a total of three box trays, but we got what? so, so, so lucky with the final shot and no managed way. to save a potential one hour trade. Never no way, though. does he get the final that shot sucks. in with the whole horde? Yeah, if he had to literally cycle it out, that like, listen, knocked, I also feel like takes forever. I tried to get a monkey bomb on this map when I did the 100. It literally took until like round 60 something to get it. This map's box arm. Yo, Ains, what's terrible. good, man? Merry Christmas to you. Does he get it? Oh, no dude, way! Timing. With this last bullet, Holy insomnia, smoke. that's and different. right there, we finally wow. finished off the longest map for this challenge. It took us 17.5 hours. You know what? At least hour he faster did than it. my previous Knocked attempt on my four days challenge. It was very unfortunate. We couldn't end off this run flawless. Just wow. had one down. Incredible but that being said, job. I was so That's ready to move on to the next run right there. So after grinding the remaining 12 oh, hours busy. on Knock on day two, yeah. I actually felt quite drained. It might yeah. have just been because I only slept for six hours. Or oh maybe because gosh, of just how boring so the atmosphere of Knock was. But yeah, I was I'm telling happy. you, nobody's beating this. Seven days is the limit. It. Listen, two maps a day, 14 maps in seven days, round 100. This is disgusting. We have moved on to the Rise Brack because it's categorized as another this easy and fast map for round 100. But that being said, I will never forget what happened to me on September 12, 2022. <laughs> oh, no. Around, so I gotta make my way over here. But this might be the last panzer round. If I don't Did get he this die round, on 254? Five, I'm still gonna try to kill him one more time. And there we go. Oh, That's the no. last panzer round, boys. All right. This is the last one you're gonna see for the rest of the game here. This is the final one here. Oh, oh. you gotta be shitting me. <laughs> wow, it actually crashed. Ever since hours. that happened, this map sort of just traumatized me. Oh, it used to be one of my insomnia. favorite map on Block of Three, also. But not after how I got so unlucky. I'm Here's a so fact sorry, reaching round 254 hurts. and either crashing or dying is way more rare than actually hitting round 255. Wow. Anyways, setting up on dirt is quite simple. I usually go for the lightning bow as Dude, I think it's the best soul. out of the four. That Feed the three dragons, watch. grab the bow. Shoot the dragon on the Dude, tower. Yeah, you deserve I actually thought that this was a peacock for some reason. Next, <laughs> we shoot the three bonfires. For it some reason, like I always have chicken. trouble shooting the one from Double Tap. You for sure have aimbot if you can manage to pull this off in one try. Oh, Easter egg speedrunners be like, 
No, for real. Especially this shot and then the one to the oh, left wow. of it. After the bonfire yeah, step is completed, bot, we did bro. the gravity wall run in the pyramid room. Then we went to go yeah. charge up the souls no, and reshot the three bonfire with I'm the charge electric shot. Gonna Once run that was one. completed, Johnny we went to go pick up the thunder the arrow at the death ray and we were ready to move on to the final step, which is basically just getting kills and charging up souls at the pyramid. Yeah. So once you have the lightning bow, the shield, and He's also the rag, I head over to the upstairs at the church room to begin the high round trap. Keep in mind, you will have to keep the doors upstairs closed. Yeah, so the perks I've chosen for this run was Jug, Double Tap, Quick, and Electric Cherry. You won't be needing Stamp for this map, mainly because you're going to be camping yeah, throughout the camping, entire right? run. Electric sense. Cherry is essential for high round on this map, because oh. later on when you're out of ammo in your bow, you will have to rely on AATs plus rags in order to progress through ah. the rounds. The Electric Cherry can help with stunning the zombies, yeah, and I'm glad that this lot. underrated perk is quite useful for this map. Double That's Tap so is also quite essential, as it not only helps shoot your death machine quicker, but also helps activate your AATs faster. Yes, the first yeah, 80 round doing this strat is extremely machines. fast and easy. You're yeah. pretty much just spamming your lightning bow yeah, and cycling through your gobble gun for that alchemical. One advice for this strategy is try not to walk over the stairs unless you're going to go grab a drop. Because right. by doing so, it significantly slows down the spawns when you cross uh, over the so line. Another thing you I want see, to keep in mind is that panzer line. rounds are every 4-5 to five rounders and dog rounds, I think it's every 7-13 to 13 a rounders. Maxes. A lot yeah, of people tend to struggle with killing the panzer as it is indeed more powerful than Optimus Prime. The yeah, best way the to take care of them is right is before the round start, make your way to the power room and yeah. wait at this entrance. As yeah. the Panzer spawns, quickly activate the death ray and shoot him at the core with the HP. I learned this the hard way because I've always been told too. to shoot him at the head. But the yeah. Panzer version on Dur is a bit different than the origin. Yeah, you gotta also, shoot make sure you have rapid fire, fast mags, and grip attached to your HPK and also have double tap. Yeah. Otherwise, dude's gonna step back on earth and gonna try to melt you down. After yeah. two hours <laughs> of the game, I felt quite tired and decided yeah. to pause in round 65. At the time, I felt that the progression on day two wasn't that great compared to day one because we only no, grinded for 12 man. hours on Listen, nine. you did the hardest one. Knocked is not easy. For you to do knocked on day two, you should count that probably, in my opinion, as two maps. Cause like, dude, you did knocked in DE. That's like one of the hardest next to one of the easiest. And right? two hours under, meaning that it was only a 14 hour grind. I also yeah, wasn't able still, to average two maps per day by the end of day two. Hence, not having the ability to choose the order of the map and having to do knock so early really screwed me over. Yeah. So coming back at the Let's start go. of day we three, I believe here. I slept seven hours on day two Dude, since the grind was slightly shorter. But what that also meant was I needed to grind even longer today, hoping to get Not this map completed plus this. another two. The relief feeling was that we were pretty much halfway finished with this map. Rounds were flying by really quick with how overpowered the lightning bow is. At oh, round 90 real. plus was yeah. where I had to rely a little bit on the electric cherry strat. This strat may seem very easy, but trying to perfect your timing with electric cherry yeah, with can be quite difficult because the there is a cooldown of bow, four reloads and often at times you will wow. get overrun by the zombies if you aren't doing it right. Sheesh, then on round hard. 99, I managed to get really good RNG oh, with, the, with dog the dog round. round. So we ended up huge. finishing dirt at four hours and 17 That's minutes flawless, which is actually gold. just a millisecond faster than my Shaz of Evil game. Wow. Up next, we <laughs> have the map Verrock, which also stands for crazy in German. This map is classified as one of the hardest maps on Block yeah, of 3. Rock Remember how I mentioned I wanted to get All dirt completed plus two more maps by the end of day 3? I guess it ain't happening anymore. From the oh bright side, gosh. this is still the start of day 3, so I was quite awake. Verrock is quite a long grind for round 100, since you don't have access to Pack-a-Punch nor bonus rounds. Yeah, Although I have reached round 100 plus walk. multiple times on Verrock, this is still one of those maps where you and, need to practice on, traps. otherwise you will get rusty pretty quick. Oh, With all yeah. the narrow tight spaces is also pretty easy to go down. Oh, Luckily, yeah. setting up on Brock is fairly easy. The perks I've chosen for this run was Jug, Quick, Speed, and Stam. Speed is okay. quite important yeah, on this map, mainly tap, because I the guess. Waffle Reload is way too damn slow. And for uh, those yeah. of you who are you a Wheaties Wine fanboy out there, I personally try to stay away from that perk, because it makes me feel like I'm playing Mega Gobble Gum. Besides, oh, Wheaties is quite whack on this map, since the Waffle doesn't give any yeah, drops. Yeah, but also Box the other thing is, is like maps like this and Shang with Widow's Wine actually, I feel like detriment you, because if all the zombies get Widow's wine you can't actually run past them and so that's the problem rng is surprisingly so, so good on this map it. getting the mark 2 and the waffle wow. felt like winning a dollar from the lottery ticket i you also sell the so max fast. ammo easter egg in case if i needed to replenish ammo through the mid rounds later on oh, once i was set up i made my way over to speak the room with the doors kept closed this strategy is literally a two spawn strat just like wow, the one on mid, it's and it's bad. ridiculously fast i usually stay here up to round 50 
but the longer the better. Sadly, and I also too bad he can't pap either. Man, just not being able to pap actually makes these runs so much longer. Ended up taking my first be. down on round 33 because I tried a grenade counterito, oh. which is actually a quicker method than knifing or double tap uh, weapon chain. He took himself out with his own nade. I hate when I do that. So I ended up resetting terrible. my game. Up to this point, wow, this is so the first reset. reset that I had to do. Luckily, it was only 37 minutes wasted and good, not three good. hours. Yeah, I managed yeah, to get yeah. set up pretty fairly quick. Hour and got right back into speed code strat great, again. An hour problem. into the game, we were nearly at round 50 already. I tried to stay in this room till round 50, but I accidentally messed up when I popped my alchemical oh. and not knowing that I only have one bullet in my waffle. Oh, Since it's I better if you this. pop it when you still got two yeah, shots. So I ended up opening up the door oh, because it was not worth door. going down. Yeah, Once no, the speed code door is open, it's time to finally move on to the high round strat yeah. known as the double trap strat. This strat requires you to train zombies between the two traps. The yeah, one the double tap is map, insanely broken because you can literally just stand right next to the trap and wow, all of the zombies coming that. from the corner and from the windows just gets melted. Next. You will have to make your way over to the speed coder trap. This one isn't as good as the double tap trap, but yeah, still killed a decent amount of zombies due to the fast spawns. You. On round yeah. 57, I ended up taking my very first down. I guess the zombie's tiny third hand just decided to win world me because this down was insanely bro, fast. That is BO3 in a nutshell, bro. That reminds me also of BO2 when you get double hit without jug. Oh my gosh, bro. They were hitting you and they weren't even next to you. This made me feel like I was playing cover zombies, but For with no real? armor. I managed to get back my perks and back in the zone. The rounds at this point were still cruising. Wish that there were dog rounds on this map, but not complaining. Yeah, too bad there's no... Yeah, I feel like Verruckt and Noct would be the two hardest maps on this challenge. Shinonuma's way easier because of the fact that you got a lot more space, you got good traps as well. Then on round 72, oh, I ended up taking another down. Oh, and this is why the waffle is so unreliable. Not yeah. only does it only kill 10 zombies per shot, but you need to wait a second or two before they actually, actually die. Done. Meaning that you also can't run yeah. through their body. Oh, dude, he's gotten like multiple Cold War downs here, which is multiple windmills in, su in succession. At this point, I was like, plan. okay, I need to step up my game from here, but yeah, the pressure is real. A, Luckily, I was able to rebuy back, back my perks and continue like. to grind up to round 80. At this time, I was feeling a little lightheaded and decided I'd go take a quick nap. Since we were only seven hours into day three, I still had enough time. Dude, this is what I'm saying. Nobody's going to be able to beat this in seven days. Seven days is the fastest. Unless you had somebody else doing with this like with this with you 24 7 maybe four days would be possible but dude for one person i think seven days is the max the fact that he even did this and he's doing naps in between this round of hundreds i am nothing but respect this is unbelievable time to nap and come back and resume off the rest of day three wow. after returning back from a five hour nap we were back again on the grind we still have roughly 10 hours ish before the end of day three so it's more than enough time for me to finish up and even the zombies from the barrier get killed with the trap right there because they just run next to the that is if i don't choke and perhaps oh, finish up majority of the next map for some he reason it, taking that he's five hour nap really woke me up at first i felt like it was a bad idea because earlier i only grinded for seven nah, hours man. on sleep you need at this point especially Especially when you're doing multiple hundreds in succession, you need to recharge those batteries, my guy. Day three, and I really did not want to oversleep. But is I got to say, the next? second session of day three went a lot more smooth than the first. Wasn't really making as much mistakes, and the time in the traps were a lot better. Yes. So on round 99, I had a very scary red screen moment. I had a pop Ooh. in plain sight, and in case for those who aren't familiar with the waffle, great right in plain sight. That was a perfect pop. You get a red screen by shooting the waffle wow. will only extend the red screen longer, which is yes. awful on this map because you kind of have to shoot if you're stuck. At the end, we were able to finish off the round 100 on Brock right at slightly side. over 8 hours. Unfortunately, I had 2 wow. downs, which is the most downs I've had. At least you did it, man. Between at the maps that I've completed it. so far. Wow. But from the bright side, I was extremely relieved wow. to have completed this map, yes. as it is the most difficult one within this challenge. Interesting. You think Verruckt is more difficult? I think it is more difficult because it's 8 hours of just dialed in hoarding whereas knocked you got a lot more space so you know what i can't agree with next that. map we have is kino de toten and i'm glad easy. to see this because it's everyone's favorite og map yes, don't hate me sir. for this guys but honestly if we were to remove nostalgic out of the way kino is hella overrated <laughs> Best zombies map of all time, baby! King of the Toad! And I mean it. About yes, six months sir. ago, Kino was my very first that. map that I have reached round 255. So it's always been very memorable each time I play this map. Setting up on this map, it's Kino's a great map, man. Nobody struggles on Kino. Nobody's like, you don't get like Verrocked gameplay where he's like, oh, don't die, don't die. Like, Kino's Quite just simple, the chill. The main thing you need you know? is to get the Thunder Gun. I actually got so lucky and was able to pull off the Thunder Gun from the box on the second hit, meaning that wow. I was able to secure the perfect 
perfect box for this run. And no what I meant by perfect sales. box is you are not moving the box, meaning that you won't yes, be getting fire sale drops as part incredible. of your cycle, which contributes to getting max ammo more wow, often. The perks I ran job. for this game were quick, jug, speed, and stamp. Usually I would go with either meal kick or double tap over speed, but since this mm. round was only going to be around 100 grind, speed cola is just way more beneficial when using the thunder gun while doing the alley strat. The alley strat is insanely fast up to round 80, pretty much just spamming your thunder gun and rotating your gobble gun for that alchemical. For secondary, you want to try to get the BMP and slap on that wire, as it's yeah. the closest wall by and it's and easy it's to take off the last couple faster. zombies on the round. One yeah. thing to keep an eye out while doing the strat is always try to look up before crossing over here. Yeah. Yeah, dude, the alley spawns, I've had so many downs like that where they drop on you. And there's a thing, as soon as they drop, it's like just a pillar of an object that you literally can't go through. And you'll run and you'll be like, why can't I go? And then it's literally a zombie that just drops down or just iron mans you, bro. Absolutely horrendous on this Simply track. because if it's a zombie fast. jumps down, you will get instant stuck and usually will yeah. take it down. When yeah. grabbing death machines, you will need to be extra careful since you don't have double tap. It's best to grab a death machine and make your way to BMP to camp and shoot at both directions. Ah, Apparently you can also wall ban the walls with the death machine, but it's only more advisable if you have instant kill. With this- Ah, interesting. Yeah, so you can wall bang on this map. I mean, especially in the alleys, there's just a lot of fences and stuff. So Strategy, sure. you will find yourself cruising through the round 50s, round 60s, yeah, round 70s, 70s, up until close to even round 80s. You will 80s. have to switch over yeah. to the gate strat and we'll have to do a bit of training with that wire on your vmp yeah just because there's too many you will realize that a full ammo. thunder gun will not get you through the round that's so true, around 79 true. was when i decided to open up the gate and move on to the actual high round strat i usually just call the strat the m8 strat ah so this is what people most people do to 255 they incorporate this lightning strat as well because it's much more faster and the spawns just run into the i strat. actually find this strat to be more chill than the alley strat because oh, one third of the time you will have the trap turn on and you're basically AFK. For yeah, some reason, uh, when you're standing- See, look, he doesn't even have to move. Here at this spot, the zombies coming up from the stairs wow. tend to run through the trap, thinking that it's a closer path to get to you. As long as you have ammo on your thunder gun, you can make semi-trains here and shoot your thunder gun. Keep doing this and alternate when the trap is ready. Once you're running low on ammo, you will have to use the entire room to train. I'm interested why he thinks this one's more chill, because it's just in such an enclosed space. I guess just because the trap itself is so well positioned. One thing to keep an eye out for is the window at the corner, because yeah. sometimes zombies tend to spawn in last second when your guard is down. There. Good thing yeah. about being in this room is that the gobble gun machine and the ammo rebuy for the M8 is right next to you. So there should oh, that does make it easier. be any reason why you would need to leave this room unless if you take it down, which I think ah, you'll do fine as long as you have the thunder gun out while And train. dog rounds as well. I mean, Kino is just so easy bro he's gonna do this like i really want to try to get kino done before end of day three yes. unfortunately on round 94 was the start of day four guess oh, i should have taken a couple less pee breaks then i'll round <laughs> bro no you've done five maps already in day three to four that is disgusting 99 though. we couldn't get lucky with the dog rounds like we did under oh, otherwise it would have been a sub five hours but in the end oh, we managed he, to pull up a he almost got that sub five better flaw this very round impressive up next though. we have origins, origins will which be in my opinion easy. is another one of those maps that i find to be extremely overrated when yeah. it comes to zombies i personally True. don't follow the storyline I mean, I love Origins, but Origins helped every single player that loves zombies. And, and neither was interested in the Easter eggs. I tend to only focus on high rounds and prefer maps, which doesn't require an overwhelming learn. And zombies just like me, I don't really care about the the, the eggs. I'm going to move my webcam for all the splits. Same so process. Can see As them. most of you would I'll understand, Origins can be quite difficult for someone new to learn. Keep in mind, I've only played this map a handful amount of times. Right and when right. I actually attempted my 14 days challenge, it was my very first time ever hitting round 100 on this map. So going wow. into this game again, I was my a bit nervous, Origins I must say. Hater. But to begin, I grabbed the shovel in spawn and quickly tried to turn on Gen 1 to start off. Oh, then I made my way to turn on Gen 3 BL3. and then Gen 2. Afterwards, I, I headed over to turn on the most important gen, gen which is gen 4, four so i could get jug then on round yeah. eight was the first encounter of the panzer from what oh, i have heard apparently trip mines can instant kill panzers in the high yes, rounds which i haven't gotten the chance to test that this out yet correct. but soon when i decide to attempt a round 255 on this map i'm going to have to look into this so this is actually correct i've seen footage of it we've also seen bo3 speed run footage where people buy the trip mines throw it down and the panzer gets instantly blown well, the main staff that i was going for it was the ice staff which i think is the best out of the four every yes, time i build this i always end up having to ask chat on what the steps were because <laughs> i always tend to forget and in case if anyone wow. did not know i am colorblind so when doing the orb step oh. can be a little bit slower for me in this game oh that would suck for this map bro that would suck how would you be able to tell what to upgrade 
Bro, I get it. I get why you don't like this map. That totally makes sense. I have grabbed the G-Strike and built the shield at the center room as I will be doing the fire tunnel strat. For perks, I have chosen Jug, Stam, Quick, and Speed Cola. I was able to ah, obtain a fifth perk from the spawn room because challenge, which granted me double tap yeah. and a backup max ammo. Stam may not seem that essential for this strat, but it definitely no, helps you sprint if you ever find yourself spawn. running on the mud. Oh, and yeah. on top of that, it helps makes it easier to cycle through the gobble gun when going into the true, spawn room. You run 100 strat on this map is quite fast as you're simply just spamming your ice tab and cycling with your gobble gun for that yep. alchemical. Couple things I want to watch out for are drops. Panzers and knowing how Panzers is the big work. one. For drops, yeah. you always want to try not to shoot your ice staff too close to the pile of skull spawn until you get all four drops, since yeah, drops may potentially get stuck inside. But you really only have to worry about this once you hit at least round 50. Yeah. The next thing is being ready for Panzer because you will need to have ice staff charge shot ready yeah, up to be able to kill him. Otherwise, he can down you pretty this. quick since I didn't do the Panzer helmet. Yeah. Lastly, for Templar zombies, I usually just call them the Samurai zombies. I don't know why, they just kind of look like they're Samurai zombies. This effort was a bit complicated on how these special zombies work, but basically what I do is actually let them take away all six generators and then turn back only three. What the Yes, yeah. So the reason why he does that is because only three generators, when you have only three on, the Templars don't spawn. I know on BO2 strategy, you keep them on just so the Templars can actually give you max ammos later on in the rounds, but you don't need it with all chemicals. What that does is the Templar zombies would not spawn in when you have exactly. less than four generators on. So that being said, if you ever needed a max ammo, you can simply just switch one on and they will guarantee spawn in at the beginning of next yeah, round. BO3 and I believe it's every fast. two to six or three to six rounders before they spawn in again. Once yeah. you begin to understand how this map really works, you will find yourself just cruising through the rounds as the strategy doesn't require much movement yeah, and to be honest really i actually easy. find the ice set to be quite satisfying to use so it's i didn't really find weapon, this man. strat to be all boring at all fun. i guess if you compare anything to the knock you know nothing is really that boring right <laughs> throughout the whole game <laughs> i pretty much was just doing the same fire tunnel strat, strat and i was only planning down. on sticking with this one too since i haven't really tried any other strat ammo really shouldn't no, be an is issue up to at least round 90. that is when you really have to start keeping track of your drop cycle and your gobble gum cycle i was aware i still had the backup max ammo in spawn but i wanted to try my best to save that until either round 98 or 99. I was yeah, getting quite a bit of a bad RNG with my max rounds. ammos, but glad I got lucky on 98 oh, with the Templar rounds, and I think nice. it was a three rounder. Then on round 99, I was sort of forced to try the training strat down below at the statue. Did this for about half the round, then decided to finally proceed to grab the max ammo from spawn. Yeah, and also when you have gen 1 and 2 and 3 on, I believe it doesn't actually prevent the Templars, but it makes it so that whenever they come, you can actually just get it very close to you in the fire cave. So you either go to gen 1 or gen 2 or gen 3 you'll be able to get the max ammo every time and so he I'm did was coming down to pretty low but did it bang we managed hours. to finish up origins with another flawless, flawless run at a little over five Lovely. hours so yep. up to this point we have been grinding he still has a couple hard ones left though shino numa is going to take a bit the giant is going to take a bit he's going to be doing up this one for nearly 15 hours in game difficult. time probably slap on another already. one hour for wow. pausing and reading the chat as a summary for you guys we grinded the remaining four hours on barack kino took a little over five Five hours and then origin took a little over five hours as well one wow. important thing i want to mention is that although when we finished kino it transitioned from day three to day four so it may seem like it's another fresh day for me but in reality i did not sleep but don't worry i was staying high insomnia i can't i gotta worry about you bro i'm worried this is this is inhumane bro and i'm gonna be honest i only think like under five people in the whole world could do this i don't think i could even do this bro with classics all 14 maps in seven days hydrated and took this i believe a 15 insane. minute eating break somewhere within two days grind i gotta wow. say i was pretty satisfied with the process that we made on this stream since we managed to finish off two and a half maps but that did not stop me from launching up the next map the giant no he did a huge amount on day three like he's got a bunch of the hard ones out giant so i never really understood why Zetro this left. map was renamed as the giant i mean it's such a small map i feel like the tiny would have been a better reclassified name the og Duries from that's an interesting point either war at war or block us one is actually one of my favorite map but the snow atmosphere on this remaster for some reason just draws me off just I agree. I think over time it's aged poorly, and I think maps like Doris Declassified definitely are what the giant really should have been. Start off, you always want to try to make sure that Stam is spawned in. There's a couple yeah. ways to determine whether it's Stam or Deadshot, but if you actually walk up to this crack and jump, if you notice a black dot, then that indicates it's Stam. Oh, I believe this trick. Oh, interesting. That's a very interesting trick. This only works if you're playing offline, and restarting for Stam RNG can be quite terrible. You will be really surprised. Weird. 
weird. It doesn't work online. Maybe when you connect, it's actually fully covered up by that snow texture. That's interesting. Luckily, setting up on this map is quite simple. You just need to rack up enough points yeah, to get the get Wonder the Waffle and Monkey Bomb for stamp. Once you yeah. get the Monkey Bomb, you throw them in the three teleporters, yeah, then you teleport perfect. and hit that big fat button. Yeah. The perks I've chosen for this run were Jug, Quick, Speed Cola, and Stam. I know Stamina Up is really one of the best perks of all time. He's running it on almost every single map here. It goes to show that a lot of people do not understand how incredible it is. It's used on every speed run. It might be one of the best perks ever. Nobody would rock double tap over speed for this map, but since we're only going for round 100, we will be relying more heavily on the waffle. Once yeah. you're set up, you want to make your way and simply camp at spawn with the door to the left of spawn kept close. Since yeah. it will be... And then just get RK5, just spam. Pretty easy, for the later man. high round strat. Just the strat takes, is actually some really good for the waffle since when the zombies yeah. try to climb up from either side, it takes a couple seconds, so it's really easy to be able to chain them with the shots. Did you uh, know yeah. that? A singular waffle shot can chain up to a max of 10 zombies. Now Only you 10, man. And a horde is 24. So think about it. It's two and a half shots. It's three shots to take out a horde, which is not good. No, I'm genuinely curious if anyone here remembers watching Bill and I in the science guy when they were still in elementary or high school. Also, <laughs> I me? <laughs> you want to try to pack your RK5 and have dead wire or can use fireworks on the HVK. Rounds yeah, are surprisingly fast really on, this on this map. We might have gotten sub one hour for round 50 if the monkey wow. RNG wasn't that terrible and if I wasn't so tired. You could probably tell just True. by looking at my face during the time of the stream. So this is when I- Dude, no. I I don't even blame you. I, you are doing so much to do this. That's why I'm, I'm so impressed. Man. I decided I am done for the stream. At this yeah. point, I believe we still had 15 hours left on day four. So what I had on plan was to sleep for- roughly six hours and try to finish up this map and get set up on the next map before the start of day five. I would be so cranky, man. I do not know how you're doing this. So after napping for six hours-ish, I took a shower and had a quick lunch. We were once Lovely. back again on the grind. At this point, we were still on day four with seven maps completed. So I knew that we were still behind on schedule as we needed to average two maps per day. The fact that we were already more than halfway through the seven day cycle, I was still not very confident on whether I was able to complete this challenge. Dude, I think you should be considering the, the last maps that you have aren't too difficult like for example like rev and zetsbo you can you can do that in like under 10 hours both those 100s if you do them perfect not right? honestly really screw me over since day one and yeah, what's even more hard. crazy is that my not game took longer than my shadows plus moon plus the rising drag and plus my kill in the game that is insane all together what? but from the bright side i was really relieved that we completed oh the longest gosh. map and also the hardest map which is varok off yeah get it out of the way first leaving it last would actually be the worst thing to do in my opinion because then you're so fatigued from all the other maps the right the rounds were progressing pretty well up until round 80 was when i had to switch over to training and using the waffle yeah. my intention round was to try to keep the waffle real. as long as i could before trading in for the shiva per turn which was at the end of round 92 then we proceeded doing the double AAT strat. At this point, it sucks not having double tap because the Shiva shoot way too slow and it would oh, yeah. have sped up the AATs. Luckily, I just had to train for less than six. Too bad there's also no way to actually get a fifth perk on this map. Six rounds doing this and we were able to make it to round 100 with another flawless at five hours and 38 minutes. Wow, the only thing that sucks is that good. we weren't able to get the four rounder dogs at 99. Moving on. To yeah, just the dog RNG. It, but that's that's just the way it is. Zetsubo, this will be easy, bro. To the eighth map, Do we the have egg. Zetsubo no Shima. Oh no, he's just gonna open the skull, I think. And do one that of the shot. maps that I was least looking forward to is categorized as one of my least favorite maps. When oh. I did the 14 day challenge, it was my first time playing Zets and trying to learn how to set up was so damn confusing. But yeah, Zet does have a lot of differences compared to all the other zombies maps, but once you know the strat and the formula, it's pretty easy to get down. I was glad to have the chat once again to guide me through the Shout steps. The For chat. this run, I was not planning on doing the Easter egg since I didn't know how. Also trying to get the extra perk slot from the plants required good RNG so I did not want to bother with I do believe the easiest strat is to do the whole egg and just spam the KT4 in that long hallway but I believe he's just gonna do this that guy. in this case I Which actually had to reset my game a couple times because I was yeah. going to do the quest to obtain the fifth perk so it just had to make sure that it was an easy quest firstly yeah. we went to turn on the temporary power from both A and B side then yeah. we headed to the bunker and apparently if you can manage to kill these zombies quick enough it prevents a trasher from spawning that is true yeah you just have to aim for the head and then we headed down to the stinky sewer water and switched on the actual stinky power next we tried to complete a couple of the skulls and turn on the <laughs> pack a punch on round 16 we were finally able to trap 
Spider-Man, which gave us access hey, to the KT4. The intention of me using the KT4 was mainly to try to get an imprint plant, as well as to have access. From yeah, imprints for this map are really good. At least having one while you do the round 100, so if you full die, you just get everything back. For the spider balls Incredible. fight, the perks I chose for this run were Jug, Quick, Double tap and stamp, pretty straightforward. Again, no speed cola. I feel like, yeah, you really don't need it for the main BL3 maps, considering death machines are everything for these maps. Next, we want to go grab the creepy looking alien versus predator skull, get the room, <laughs> which will be doing the high round strat in. I gotta say, I love this movie series, and if you guys haven't watched the most recent predator movie they made called The Prey, I'd highly recommend Bro, that would actually scare the hell out of me, bro. I mean, and then I next, know. I went and proceeded with the spider boss fight in order to obtain the Widow's Wine at their pea fountain. Electric Cherry would have been the better play over Widow's, but... I never knew you could get Widow's as your fifth perk there. I actually never knew that. That is so... As you guys crazy. know, 99% is always dead shot, and I wow. don't have time to reset hours for that. In True. this game, I managed to get extremely lucky with... And you can get a sixth perk, obviously, with the perk that you get for the reward. The imprint plant, because during my 14 imprint. days grind, it took me nearly 50 rounds, and I only got one imprint. I believe once wow. you upgrade the KT4, you will have a better odd. I'm not 100% sure. On I'm pretty sure that that's correct. The upgraded KT4 does. On this one, though. On top of that, from one of the plants, I somehow got another free perk bottle. So I ended That's up running cool. six perks with speed coder, which was really Oh yeah, you can also get all the perks on this map because of the free perks. Pretty great. Yeah, so on round plants. 25 was when it transitioned to day five, which wasn't too bad because we were nearly set up and we managed to complete eight maps by the end of day four. Wow. Dude, that is impressive in and of itself. We only have three days left and he's uh, he's already done over half. Eight out of 14. Finally being able wow. to average two maps per day. Roughly on round 30 cool. was when I was finally set up and ready for the Scar Room strat. It took me over an hour just to get set up, so I can't imagine... Is that Super Bowl? <laughs> trying to take a strike every time to set up for a round 255 grind. I oh, yeah. I mean, you gotta love Zetsubo. You really do. Traded the KT4 away for the MA with turn while having my primary as the Vesper of Wet Deadwire. Yeah. Some players may prefer using the ICR instead, but it's just personal preference. You also want to make sure you have a sh I think Vesper's better because it shoots out bullets faster, especially with double tap. Shield built at B station yeah. and have the gas, gas mask at built at A station. Yeah. The skull room strat can be quite difficult to train as the spawns are ridiculously fast and how frequent the spiders tend to spawn in. Sometimes I wonder to myself if there are more spiders than zombies in this room. <laughs> For real, in the later rounds? Bruh, and then when thrashers spawn, you can only kill them with the skull, but... Ugh, and their movements are also quite unpredictable. Yeah, they're but luckily, this strat is really fast, especially with the power of the skull. One good advice for this strat is when training near the wall, you want to try to hug the wall as tight as you can. Oh yeah, because they also... The spawns in this room are also very weird. You can run into one of them spawning and then that's it. Since the zombies tend to spawn from the ground, which yeah. can randomly get you stuck. On round 72, I ended up taking my very first down. It's ridiculous. Oh, dude, the thrashers suck. How strong the trashers are. They are the strongest boss zombie in all of Black Ops 3, excluding, I guess, George Romero in the Call of the Dead remastered. But, dude, the thrashers are ridiculous. Ridiculously open. The fact that Widow's activated and I still instant down. Luckily, yeah, I have two imprint ridiculous. plants, so I wasn't really worried about double downing at this moment. We were yeah. able to rebuy back my perks without an issue and awesome. continue the strat. Awesome. Then on round 92, I ended up taking my second. Dude, the way that Thrasher came out at you, man, I could instantly tell. Down from the Trashers Bruh. once again. Ow. I went to go rebuy back Jug. I was Ow. trying to make my way to the zipline after Black that, but of course, due to lack of knowledge of this map i thought i was going the wrong way but apparently it was the right way which cost no. me my third down thank goodness he had an imprint there. since i died without quick revive that also yeah. meant i will be revived from one of my two imprint plants wow. then after 30 seconds getting back into the strat i once again down for the fourth time no dude i hate this when you go on a downward roller coaster with the thrashers no man this is pain. to the trashers the trashers no. have probably earned a predator missile kill streak at this point <laughs> i was starting to get pissed off with this map they call the uav on zetsumo bro sorry excuse my language and because i was revived from my imprint plant apparently yeah, it counts Zetsubo as a quick revive purchase hence i have no more quick revives left with all of these rough situations Ooh, happening in this one singular careful. round you would think that yeah. the round is almost over and what you're about to witness next is the worst thing that has oh, ever happened to me no. in zombies so basically <gasps> i got robbed sad. after getting revived from my imprint plant not only does it give you back the same perks and gobble gum you had at the time you imprinted but it yeah. also gives you back the same amount of points i had like oh no way 
I never knew that. Half a million point, and now I was left with only a thousand points and two trashes remaining. Oh no, so that's terrible. That means he can't double spin. I decided to go turn on the Blade Trap, oh. but the Trasher decided to pull a Dignit move from Pokemon. I knew I misplayed here because I should have made sure they did not respawn, and I believe I could have crouched under the trap, but you I wasn't too crouch. sure since yeah. I didn't want to risk it at the time. It now, is hard to tell on the traps on Here's Tentacle. the girl's part. After turning on the trap, I had only 70 points left. The <sighs> round was left with only two Trashers. I tried killing them with my Vesper and M8, emptied out both of my guns, and couldn't even pop one oh, of their pimples, no. which is crazy afterwards dude and he's so close to getting the skull too i went to go grab the max ammo from the quest but decided that it was probably not a good idea to try to empty out the guns again That's at this true. time i had to call sos and had the chat helping me out i was given advices that i could try mailing with my shield but that sounds to me more like a suicide that mission a people suicide were asking time. me to upgrade my shield to the electric version which wasn't possible at the time because i was missing one more quest and i don't think the upgraded shield could stand against the trashers either then there was another advice asking me me to somehow get my skull charged up but that wasn't possible either i'm so curious how he's going to do this because this is the thing thrashers can only can be killed by the skull at this high of a round so how did he get out of this as there were no more zombies except the trashers i had someone ask me to pop my in plain sight and just keep knifing the trasher yeah this ain't co or zombies you know <laughs> For no. real. Then I had a couple people in the chat who gave me the advice on crouching down at every perk machine for that free 100 points. Oh, this is genius. And then the trap. And try to rebuild as many windows as possible. And lucky but not so lucky, we capped out at 960 points. 40 points short on being able to activate the trap. One person from chat told me to try trip mine and grenades to make points, but that didn't work. Then I had someone ask me to crouch down at a pack a punch machine and see if I could get 100 points. I mean, that's the first oh. time I've ever heard of that before. This is painful. Or, then I had someone who gave me a pretty good advice, which was to head down to the bunker yes. and knife the Get the free zombies from here, but they don't give you points. Zombies with the zombies inside. But sadly, I already knifed every bag when I was setting up pack. Then someone gave me the idea to try going to crouch at Widow's Wine, even though there isn't exactly a perk machine there. And things got really ugly down there. I can't oh roll. no. No, 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 no. Oh no, and the thrasher is going to come from the top and he can't escape now. Nope. Yeah, you'll oh never be God. able to get out. Oh! Yo! No! Dude, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. I feel so oh bad for Insomnia. I can't, I can't get out. Worst case scenario, I still have one more imprint plant, which might have granted me a fully charged skull. But after I was rewatching back the gameplay, I realized that when I imprinted for the second time, I barely it. had my skull charged, meaning no. that even if I used another monster reborn again, it would have made no difference. At this time, all hopes were lost. Did he have to reset? No way! Chat was suggesting me to hit the box for 950, leaving me with 10 points. I think the only possible weapon that could save this run was the KT4. At this point, I nearly have better odds winning a single number of bet on roulette instead. Legit it, legit. Like, there'd be no way you get the KT4 first box hit like that. Then, right when I was about to hit the box, since all hopes were lost, Big shout out to Vida for coming in clutch with the highest IQ and suggesting me to look around the entire map for any gobble gun machines with webs cover. Because oh. apparently if you slash one you off, points. you get 10 points. Then yes. somehow we miraculously found one covering webs down at the bunker, which led us to only 30 points to go. At first I didn't notice these oh webs since- Dude, this is so incredible. This is such a save. All the ones outside were web free, so I didn't think this plan was going to work. Then we found another one. My only other suggestion maybe would be the friendly thrasher, but he doesn't have the Masamune, so I don't know. One in the bunker across the HVK, then another one at B station. <sighs> then lastly, we found the final one at A station, which granted us just enough for a just thousand points. Now trap. it's time to hit the trap again. I had to make sure I do it right do this it. time, otherwise yeah. it would have been a game over. Over. After one hour being stuck in this round, I was so glad to see wow. 93 as I don't think there could have been Dude, any Dude, that was literally perfect. Up to the exact point. If he did not get those last points, he would have not beaten that. Wow. Dude, that in and of itself was so wild. Worst scenario than what, what I just went through. After wow. clutching up that round, we proceeded back to the strat and ended wow. up wrapping up Zets at round 100 at nearly 7 hours with 4 downs. I must Dude, admit, this is my worst play out of wild. all the maps I've done. Somehow, I ended up doing better on my 14-day challenge with only 1 down, and it was during my first playthrough on Zets. 
wow, I've never seen so much map knowledge used just to get past one round. And so, yeah, I guess the only two things that could take out Thrashers is the Plane Trap and also the Skull. Of course, what happened wow. back on round 92 was Very out of the impressive. ordinary. But from the bright side, one thing I learned from this game is make sure you only imprint when you have enough points. True. Up next, we have the map Ascension. Ain't I glad to have an easy map next? So up to this point... Yeah, it is better to imprint later on in the rounds. Ascension, this is going to be a laugh in the park. This is going to be have been grinding for over 12 hours straight. Wow. I don't know why, but at the time, I felt way more tired compared to when I put my 18-hour stream, which included... Well, of course, it's because you did all of this, man. Round Look 80 to 100 on Brock, finishing Kino, yep. finishing Origins, and then Giant up to round 50. I feel like the main reason was due to stressing out on round 92 from Zest and only averaging 5 to 6 hours of shitty sleeps in my past 5 days. Trust me. For real, you need to sleep for freaking three days after this run, my guy. <laughs> Normally, you. I'd be okay with sleeping five hours and getting through my days, but knowing that there's 50,000 plus zombies just waiting to be slayed when I wake <laughs> up gives me nightmares. So I was actually debating whether I should go take another nap since we still have roughly 17 hours left on day five, but I felt that- He's got some really easy, easy ones left. He has Ascension. Shang is not going to be easy though. That's going to be a tough one. He's got Ascension, Shang, GK, and- and rev i believe so it's not too too difficult what he the has the progress left. we made within a 12 hour stream was pretty awful mainly due wow. to losing over an hourish on zets and since ascension is considered more of an easier map i decided to try to grind halfway so roughly round 70 back on black ops yeah ascension's really one easy. ascension was the first map that has ever introduced the special grenades known as gersh devices True. as well as phd flopper once. in yeah. addition to that this was the first map that i have ever reached round 100 on and since then this awesome. has always been a top Top five map for me. Ascension, dude, I love that. Ascension, I feel like, is very underrated. Most people do not give this map enough love. It is a great map. Generally, when you're going for high round on Ascension, you would try to keep both doors closed that leads to Jug and right. try to get it from the monkey round. But as for this challenge, you really don't have time to wait to try to reset. So I decided to open up ah. Jug door from Power Room. Setting up on this map is quite easy as well as you simply only need Just to get Gersh's the and the Thunder Gun. Yep. The perks I ran were Stamp, Jug, Speed Cola, and Quick, mainly because we are going to be relying heavily on yeah, the Thunder Gun for the first 80 rounds or so. Yeah. Once you are set up, you want to make your way to the power room. Oh, and Widow's Wine as well we got. Room. But make sure you have the gate near the stairs closed. Close. This strat yeah, is extremely fast and easy to do. So I decided to go spamming. into autopilot mode because I was so burnt out. <laughs> yeah, bro, for real. What I meant by autopilot is I'm putting in very little effort on this game and trying to sleep with my eyes open. Dude! What? Insomnia? Are you insane? Is I'm simply just spamming the Thunder Gun. Then on round 45, I ended up taking my first down due to the Thunder Gun pulling a BO1 bug on me. Oh, he didn't get everything in the vicinity. Ah, uh, yeah, he probably should have popped in plane, but bros must be exhausted. Which was actually really, 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 really bad because I purposely right. let the monkeys took away the first two quick revive so that I could keep the third one permanently since the machine ain't going to be there anymore. Oh, no. Oh, so he's got no quick revive for the rest of the run. Afterwards, I went to rebuy back my perks and decided to buy Meal Kick as my fourth perk since I will be needing double AATs later on. The rounds at this True. point were just cruising nearly a so he cannot down even once. Sub one hour at round 50. Then at round 60 ish, you are going to have to train a semicircle on the right side of the window every time you shoot a shot just yeah. to prolong the ammo longer. The best way to and also kill more deal with monkey rounds is right at the beginning. Make your way to Meal Kick and turn the trap on. On. After oh, hearing all six monkeys has spawned in, just make sure none of the monkeys that spawned from the KM44 side were heading up to meal kick. Then you should be safe to jump down the hole and head over to stem. Most of the oh. time, you should have no issues protecting your perks, but this is assuming you have both jug doors closed. What an interesting strat. I mean, it would only work this way. You could not do this regularly. In the round 70s, you will begin to realize ammo is becoming an issue, right. so you will need to alternate between the spawn room Here's and power room strat. For this yeah. strat, you want to have Shiva with Deadwire and KM44 with and Lucky Crit helps out a lot here too. Turn. You could pick the RK5 over the KM44, but I just think for 100, the KM44 is better since yeah, you won't you really need to rebuy ammo. True. On round 76, I decided to let the monkeys take away my speed cola as I will be rocking double tap for faster AATs. The only time I ever switch back to power room strat is when I have full ammo on my thunder gun or have alchemical. What you want to try to do is use up both alchem and save ideally 12 bullets in your thunder gun, then throw a gersh, teleport, and make your way back 
back to spawn. Those 12 bullets are saved mainly for the monkey rounds. Another thing that- Oh, interesting. So he's saving 12. And yeah, if you ran megas here, you literally can just cancel the monkey round by just getting one dead of nuclear winter gobblegum. Keep in mind when doing a power room strat is that you want to be cautious of death machine drops as they can get you killed, especially oh, when true. you don't have speed cola. Yeah, especially later on in these rounds, the death machine is not going to be good enough. I kind of always wish that the annihilator would serve a purpose in some ways. <laughs> For real, bro. It just fit the aesthetic of the map, Blundell. Come on, bro. Why did they not add the flamethrower? This map would have just been so much faster if they did. Because it's always taunting me to use it. But we all For know the real. truth that it's such a pea shooter and it hurts to admit that even Deadshot serves a better purpose. Also, why was it not just an instant one-hit kill on all the zombies forever? Just like how it is in multiplayer. It literally makes no sense. Bro. I was supposedly going to call it a night at either round 70 or 80. But you know, that's what every other high rounders always say. I'll just play five more rounds. Then after that, okay, five more rounds. And somehow we all piloted to round 99 where i got extremely lucky to get another l chemical yeah might as well just finish it this map is pretty easy and you Which might as allow well just me to go spam through the rest of the game yeah. doing the power room awesome. shot allowing us to wrap it off at a Let's little over go. four hours with one down that's so one of the faster the ones we go we have wow. shangri law next which is one of ascension and moon are the fastest he's got the so OG far maps that wow. was classified as one of the most difficult map yes. and even up to Shang today it still lives up to its name yes, i gotta say hard. i was glad to be able to take a nap before starting up this map yeah dude you need all the rest you can get because oh one. boy with how i felt when i was playing ascension i wouldn't even be able to pull through round 20 on shang oh, to start real. off on shang i quickly buy the doors to make sure jug is not on the waterfall side because you're pulling a tom cruise mission impossible if you're trying to re buy back your perk at <laughs> for real dude on shang this location yeah i'm extremely not a fan of the mud on shang as well because yeah, you literally cannot map. even jump can nope. you imagine shang's mud replacing origins mud oh, oh yeah the shang mud Mud is terrible. You can't run, you can't jump, you can't nothing. Origins mod, you can at least run oh and God. jump. Anyways, for weapon-wise, you will need a baby gun or AKA 31-79 oh, JGB 215. Sounds to me like a bunch of random numbers and letters just fused together to create. Yeah, that's Jimmy Zelinsky's brain right there. Write this name, but I don't know why. I kind of like it. You will also need a Mark II <laughs> as well for the early 40 rounds and monkey bombs in case if you do go down. Typically, Shang has two strategies you can do for high rounds. Shang shot, I believe this is the easiest where you just spam the baby gun here and just run through them over and over because they just come from the bottom it's so easy most people on the block of three virgin would stick with the cuda room strat yeah. however because i'm a pussycat i didn't get the chance to learn how to do the strat yet no dude i wouldn't like listen i've been trying to do shang 100 for so long that cuda strat is so difficult this is the safest and it's still pretty fast yeah. also setting up takes a bit longer so i oh, decided yeah. to stick with the slower the baby but gun safer well, strat so which i usually hard, just call it the figure eight strat up to this point we still had roughly four Four hours left before day six so my intention was to try to reach halfway point by the end of day five the early yeah. round version of this strat is actually really different than what you normally see for the other maps for the first 40 rounds or so you can basically just stand right in front of this debris and, and simply just shoot your mark two towards the right side yeah, the zombies spawning from the gun. left side tend to take the longer route to get to you because they try and do some fat just make sure you don't i love the way the mark two looks in chronicles i miss the aesthetic so much this chronicles two, ray gun looks way better than alpha omega and everything that is in that map bro don't move too far from so the debris bad the perks i chose for this map. round were stam jug speed and quick i yeah. didn't pick double tap this time because we won't be relying too much yeah, on the really AATs. on round either. 37 i ended up trading away my mark ii for the km44 since yeah. it will be required you later in the tap. high round and yeah. i also needed to get monkeys then on round 30 yeah monkeys on this map are necessity you absolutely need them this map is so hard at eight i ended up taking my first down which is fairly <sighs> oh, early oh the, the aat didn't activate i know that's the worst the game and i was actually debating on whether to reset or not but at the end i decided to no, stick with the run because i'm a stubborn go. man yes. not having double don't waste an hour even bro top firework aat didn't activate in time and i yeah. ended up messing up with my weapon switch there after buying back my perks as we are now in the round 40s it's finally time to kick some babies. I know this sounds really <laughs> wrong, but for some reason, it's really satisfying when the baby zombies gets kicked 10 meters away. If you find yourself struggling with this strat, <laughs> 
could substitute Widow's Wine over Stamp, which significantly benefits when I'm doing the dying. camping strat. That's Another so thing to keep funny. in mind is that the monkeys do not come over. The only zombie players be like in this area for the drops. If you have this debris closed, therefore That's the so only way to get funny. extra perks is preferably in the lower round and stay over at the bridge side. One common scenario to down easily when doing this strat is when you kick the zombies and it gives you a death machine drop. Simply oh, because true. without double tap, it's pretty much a pea shooter and you won't really have time to cancel and switch to your baby gun in time. And Unless you got an in skill like he just did there. And that's exactly what happened to me on round oh! 72, which unfortunately led to my second death. That is a rough down. Oh. oh. After getting back my perks. I Dude, and also four hours for only 74. Shang is brutal, bro. I had to alternate to the other version of the strat, which required which me to start around. from the top and slowly make my way down, make a left turn, oh and go gosh. around this large boulder, then shoot the zombies either with my KM44 with fireworks or you can baby gun them. The only time you can switch back to the camping strat is if you have an alchemical or if you have a max baby gun, but I usually prefer to keep a full gun for safety shots unless I know for sure and, and now chemical is coming up. up yeah all chem will make you go through the rounds fast i'm curious that he never cycled though i guess you really don't to this point it seems like you four hours and 30 minutes is a decent progress for 75 rounds but you'll be really surprised how awfully slow the last 25 rounds are oh yeah because technically he's not even halfway done mainly so, due like, to transitioning over a, to this a couple more hours scratch. so around 77 was the start of day six meaning wow. that at this point we only had 48 hours hurry. remaining until the challenge Ooh. was over we still had to finish off Shang and three more maps. At this point, I could Dude, finally that's say crazy. for the- What are the last three? Shang, GK, Rev, and another Chronicles one. First that time that I felt of. a little bit of confidence that I could complete this challenge. But oh, keep Shinonuma. in mind that if I ended up dying at round 90 plus on either Shang or Shinonuma, which yeah. was one of the remaining three maps, I could still very likely fail the challenge. Very true. And that's the thing. He's never failed one. And if you do fail one, you literally fail the entire challenge. This strat doesn't wow. change for the remaining of the game. One good advice is for insane. transitioning to the camping strat is make sure you got all four drops so you don't need to worry about bumping into death machines. Also, the good thing about using the KM44 with fireworks is that you won't need to worry about box trades for the baby gun. And if you ever need to rebuy ammo, it's just simply pay 250 to give the zombie a True. free Uber ride, then grab ammo. On free Uber ride. <laughs> on the way back. Uh, round 90, we reached seven hour plus in a grind, and the rounds felt dreadfully long. Oh yeah, bro. Oh my gosh, almost 10 hours for this 100. <gasps> At least in the end, we were able to hit that sub 10 hours wow. for round 100, but sadly with two downs. It was pretty crazy how the last 10 Dude, at least you did it, man. At least you didn't fail. Round took nearly three hours, which could have been an entire moon round 100 grind. Oh this map took gosh. way longer than what it should have been, but at least we got it in one go, and now we are left with True. the final three maps, Gorok Kurovi, Shinonuma, and Revelations. Dude, Shang is just horrendous. Rev, this is going to be a laugh in the park, bro. This is going to be nothing. Up next, we have Revelations. Yeah, easiest which is one. By here. far the most difficult map on the <laughs> I mean, Just look at how few. <laughs> Few 255s there are. People has reached round 255 <laughs> on this map. I don't see my name on this list yet because you know it's hard to entertain my character. Dude, that is so funny. Yeah, Rev is combat training for Call of Duty Zombies. Character when he's only staying in one spot and not moving for a long time. That's Majority so of the funny. zombie map that requires to turn on power is actually accessible from one switch, but because this map is so challenging, it actually requires four. <laughs> These switches are scattered across four different sectors, but luckily you can start off with the. Yeah, this is the hardest part. The hardest part about Rev is the beginning, setting up. <laughs> First one that spawns. But oh wait, these aren't like the ordinary switches on Kino. These are rituals where you have to try to kill a bunch of demon-looking creatures and try True. to survive Shout for a moment of time before it actually turns on. Once the first ritual is completed, it grants you a teleporter where you can have access to Jug immediately because the map knows you've already had a heart attack coming this far. <laughs> At least for you, Insomnia. Round 9, I was lucky enough to get the Apothegon. Most maps generally will only... Wow. No, I mean... Rev's luck is pretty good compared to like Shang or any of these other maps he just went through. Oh, allow one golden one weapon, but on this map you get two because it's yeah. too challenging. In the it's meanwhile, I started aiming yeah, for the blue hard. rocks in the sky because this was a cheat code that the map didn't want you to realize that you could actually <laughs> upgrade your apothecon. Cheat then on code. round thir GTA 6 cheats. 13, in order to pack a punch, firstly you need to capture the big daddy that probably has the power to wipe out the entire fog on transit with one puff. What 
Uh, that is true. He's got a big mouth. Once you're in his tummy, softly shoot his three oranges, and you're simply able to pack your apartment on now. Then out his nostrils you go. I really hope Rich Toffin is not someone who's scared of height, because if I was a character on this map, I'd be puking all over myself. Um, oh, for real, bro. The amount of times you're gonna get ejected out of him and stuff, like... Round 18, I was able to get the OG Thunder Gun, hey, and all that go. was left were the rags, which I ended up getting from this. Wow, yeah, you don't even need Arnie's. I mean, you can upgrade them on this, but bro, DG4, Poth, and thunder gun you're sad same box you know? next we headed back to the beast and obtain the zeus cannon zeus now we cannon. can finally proceed over to varag with the high round strats the perks i've chose yeah. for this run were jug quick stamp and stamp is good for when the panzers accidentally Speed. spawn i chose stamp purposely because it made it easier for me to hit the gobble gum yes, in between rounds the there are also too. other plenty of other supports on this map such as the shield helmets and upgraded perks yeah but i GK never signed shield. up for halloween to play this map <laughs> Yeah, you don't need the mask or anything. Rev is combat training zombie. The way this strat works is quite simple, as all you need to basically do is stand right beside the trap and don't get bored. This will be a true <laughs> spawn strat as the zombies will only spawn in the two windows. Oh, uh, challenge impossible, Insomnia. In front of you. One thing you have to make sure is keep the doors behind open, as for some reason, if you kept it closed, zombies tend to spawn from behind. Another yeah. thing to keep an eye out for is make sure you don't go over the bump of cracks behind where the box lays, as true. that will also cause spawn from behind. Yeah, the spawns of this map are very strange. The only exception would be to hit the gobble gum in between rounds or during bug rounds. Right. This strat is crazy, crazy fast. If yeah, not, it's... one of the fastest strat on BO3. I think it is the fastest. Like, bro, you can get a round 100 in like sub three hours. You can simply hit round 50 in less than an hour if <laughs> you were to optimize your speed run. When you encounter Disgusting. a bug round, you want to make your way over to the cave section and shoot your gun as it has the fastest spawn. One thing oh, I never understood that is, is the why the bonus spot. rounds on this map takes ages to get through. Here is a surprising fact it's just because they spawn in all the furies keepers and bugs and you have the apothecan you're spamming the thunder gun it's annoying i agree for those who may not know but the round 100 speed run on moon is actually faster than the round 100 speed run wow. on Revelations. and i feel that if the bonus rounds weren't extended it might be arguable to say that revelation would have been the fastest round 100 but of course only God would know that. Per True, but also keep in mind that like shooting the wave gun in one window will always be faster, bro. When they all spawn out of one window, like that is so broken and only Moon has that. Pretty much for the whole game, you're mainly relying on your pot gun and regs as you really only need to use your thunder gun if either the Panzer or Margua spawns in. The strat is so easy to the point that- <laughs> Dude, he's going about his day. The chat challenged me to play the rest of this game from my couch. <laughs> I don't have the intensity for me because it was so hard for me to see from my Nintendo DS monitor. <laughs> then on round 84, the best way to deal with the boss rounds is simply just spam your thunder gun half a second before it spawns in. Oh, and you should be able to take care of them without a scratch. Yeah, he spawns in right at the beginning. Then on round 85 plus, I ended up getting a red glitch where I could no longer pull them out or use them for the rest of the game. Oh, that does happen on Rev, man. I'm Apparently, sorry. there was an infinite right glitch on this map, and I somehow accidentally triggered the first step of it when I ran into the death machine with my rags oh. out. I'm not even sure exactly how it works, but I was forced to rely on my thunder gun and traps when I was running low on ammo on my apothecary. At this point in the game, we have already been streaming for nearly 15 hours straight and I was starting to feel quite drained Jeez. and so ready to finish off the last 10 rounds so I can go to bed. Yeah, for real, because then he's going to have to end it off with Shinonuma and Garod. That's and then be this happens. I think Shinonuma's next. I think this should be enough to finish off the round. Did I'm he grab that carpenter? I was like, what happened? Okay, he did. Bro, the Panzer's going to spawn, isn't it? <gasps> no! Before round 100? Dude, Rev actually made fun of you. I cannot believe that. Wow, no that. way. It was because of the infinite rag. No, it must have kept using all the entities in the map. No. That crash was extremely tilting for me, and I knew I had to run this shit back up. On to the second round we go. The RNG for oh one weapon was gosh. way worse Insomnia, than my I'm first so game, sorry. and I ended up taking my first down on round 20. I can still oh. remember even up to today how tilted I was when I started the second run. I literally wanted to quit the challenge at this moment. Dude, for real. But dude, you've gone so far. 
This is incredible, bro. We are witnessing an actual documentary right now of human achievement. Then on round 83, I was so tired to the point where my eyes could barely open up and I've been autopiloting this entire second run, wow. which led to my second down. I have no explanation for my second uh, down. No, bro, you're tired, Didn't man. even realize rags were over. At this yeah. point, I couldn't care less about how many downs I had. I just wanted to sleep so to badly. It, then finally, we were once again back on round 89. I had been staying away from death machine drops this entire second run, and I got to admit I was quite worried if I was going to crash again, and then oh, this happened. No. Again? Did I fool you guys there? Oh. Nah. Dude, insomnia, don't do that. The second round, we were able to finish off round 100 oh, roughly three God. hours and 30-ish minutes thank with two God. downs. It was unfortunate that the first game crashed as wow. it was a flaw. Revelations was like, bro, we're going to make it harder for you by making you do it again. That is horrendous. I'm so sorry, insomnia. Let's run. At least it was Rev. Out of all the maps, at least it was Rev. I definitely would not have been able to rerun the third one if I somehow for crashed real, again. For real. So today is the big final the day. Final we are day. Close to the Only Shidonuma and GK. This is very winnable, man. He went through the hardest, in my opinion, already. This is a lap in the park. Now. Seventh day in four hours. I have decided that I will be powering through a 24 hour stream if I must. Yes. After napping for roughly five hours, which could have been eight hours if we didn't crash on Revelations, we are starting the Freak grind on the rap. last second map, which is Shinonuma, which leaves Gora Krovi as the finale. I wow. mentioned GK to end it off, baby. That's tough. GK is not an easy hundo. Back on Zets, I that, know that was one of my least favorite maps. Well, guess what? Shinonuma is my least favorite map of all time. It what? Wow, this man must love Vanguard. <laughs> It's just something about the atmosphere that just draws me away. For some reason, every time I- I feel like it's just Grass Nocturne Totem, but bigger. That's kind of what I think Shinonu is. Play this map, I seem to never get Jug on first HUD, or oh, second HUD, and even third. Do. The RNG on yeah. this map might even be more <laughs> dog shit than Moon, as Waffle and Monkey yes. Bomb just seems out of the perimeter to get. Two things you want to do before- This map just feels very slow. It feels like knocked unless you're fully optimizing it. Seating with hitting the box is first, make sure you keep the stairs from spawn closed, as it will help with the spawn for the later high round strat. Next, make sure to set up the max ammo easter egg, as it can only be done with the starting pistols. Oh, interesting. So yeah, he's doing this for later on in the round. This isn't required for any of these round 100 rounds, but it's always nice just to have a backup. On round 14, I was able to get the Mark II, so it didn't seem like my guns were such pea shooters. Then on round 9... <laughs> yeah, there's no pap on this map, so you 19, really I couldn't it. believe it. I actually got lucky and got the waffle, which was wow. really nice because we were able to proceed to the high round strat right away. Awesome. There are several versions of strats you can do for this map, but the one I like doing for the first 50-60 rounds is simply camping in the calm room and spamming the waffle and using the traps yeah this strat is vastly different from world at war considering world of war is just broken with only 24 zombies around essentially so like this is insane the faster version is staying in the storage hut instead but it'll be more risky i have to admit the early strat for this map is quite entertaining as you are simply just spamming and cycling through your gobble gun for alchem and just cruising through the rounds in addition you also get dog rounds which can really help speed things up then on round 50 is where you will begin to encounter visual bugs where dogs don't explode and just vanishes the moment you kill them Whoa. What? I'm, I'm real. This shows how little I play of BO3 Shinonuma. I feel like this is also the least played BO3 Zombies map ever. Also, when you turn on the traps, so, it becomes invisible. So often at times, you need to be extra cautious. What? Or is this just your PS4 being like, bruh, you've been playing way too much BO3. We are not going to load anything. I have indeed killed myself a couple times in the past where I first played this version of Shinonuma due to these invisible traps. Does Vanguard Shinonuma run better than this? You can't be lying. Me. Mark 2 shots as well as waffle shots will start to become invisible. I'm not really sure exactly the reason that causes these visual bugs Weird. on this map as this isn't an issue on the other maps. But what I'm more clueless about is why the hell in the world did this map get remastered on almost every zombie game. We will never know. Nobody has ever asked for Shinonuma to come back. I'm not even going to ask as a joke because Treyarch might be like, wait, you want Shinonuma again? No. We do not want Shinonuma, please. It was first introduced on War of War, then it got remastered yes. on Black Ops 1. And then then years Ops later, 3. it got released on Black Ops 3 as part of yep. Chronicles. Then, then it got Vanguard. released on Cop Mobile Zombies, which and is probably Vanguard. the worst version of this map because for some yeah. reason, the high round was time-based and they literally put Avogadro in that map, which was just mental. Absolutely yeah. had no idea what the intention of it was. I think the 
only to cause players pain. That was the intention. Developer was probably trying to add in some trees that grew avocados, but instead <laughs> it grew avogadros. For then real. in the newest zombie game, Vanguard, we once again got another remake of Shinonuma, which was actually enjoyable to some extent until when you gotta go pee and you try pausing the game. <laughs> Why did Vanguard happen? And once you come back, you're at the main menu. That was <laughs> legitimately, can you imagine? If they add that back in COD 2024, COD Zombies is dead. I'm just gonna say that right now. Great, it just doesn't- Add a pause button. Nobody asked you to remove it. Not a soul. It doesn't really make any sense to me how a map that got remastered multiple times makes me feel like I'm still playing on last gen. For but this real. isn't the main reason why I dislike Shinanuma so much. But the fact that the high round strat is incredibly boring. It is. On BL3, it's boring. BL1, it's boring. The only fun variation is the glitch version, in my opinion, back in World of War. I switched that over to this version of strat version. at roughly 55 as waffle ammo was becoming an issue. As yeah. mentioned earlier, there are several ways to do this strat. There's a three hut strat, which is the fastest, but since I'm not familiar with it, we'll be downgrading to the two hut strat. This strat will- Better to keep it simple, I find. When it's too complicated, it's harder to run, I find. It will require you to train in the calm room while the trap is switched on. Then once the trap is switched off, you want to try to train out of the hut and make your way over to the flogger trap. The more optimal way to play the strat is actually run out the hut while the trap is still on so that it can kill the entire horde, but I wanted to play this game safe. One True, yeah. Better to play it safe than sorry, especially with your second last Since map, Since you enter bro. the entrance, you want to do a semi-train here while shooting an SCG for more points. I chose so the SCG over SCG the VMP mainly because it has no recoils and much better for far range. Ah, Next, true. once you bring them over to the flog area, you make another circle and, and then, then activate the trap on yeah. your return. The more optimal way to use the flogger is to actually activate it right before you head over to the circle-ish field, then crouch back through the flogger so it kills two horde instead of one. But if you're not- Yeah, I notice it's kind of slow to start up on this version i don't know if it's just the same speed or if the zombies are faster in this game i i'm I trying to speed run you. then it doesn't really matter yeah. after the flogger you want to head back to calm room and repeat the strat and honestly if they were able to drain all the annoying water from this map i'd probably give this map a solid rating of one out of ten <laughs> Oh, we got a shield in my hater. Around 60, visual bugs were getting worse, so any drops would wow. not be shiny. Oh my gosh, what has happened? Bro, I've never even seen this. Nobody plays Shinonuma. This is why. This is the proof. At this point, it seems like the rounds are still cruising through pretty fast as we are only two hours and a half in. But two and a half hours though for 60 for almost any other map is egregiously slow. This map is like a brother of Shenmue Law, where the last 20 yes. rounds are just awfully just slow. If at any time you got back out camp, you can always switch back to the camping strap. On yeah. round 71 was the transition to day 7. I marked a 24 hour countdown timer to show the remaining- Oh my gosh, so he literally has to do this and instantly hop into GK. That is insane. Time of the final day. That being said, if the timer hits zero and I haven't yet completed Gorak Krovi, then challenge fails. Oh. Crazy thing is we weren't even halfway done with Shinonuma yet because this map is such a crawl. I start Dude, and even GK is a long one too. He's done every easy one. I to wonder if the reason why Varrock and Shino take so long was due to the fact that Nocturne Totem gave them birth or something. On round 80, we managed to hit a little over five hours, but in reality, we were only a little over halfway to reaching oh round 100. Oh my gosh. Yeah, literally, this is literally halfway point on Shinonuma. Then on round 90, we you do get dog rounds though, which does save you. We reached seven hours. Let's so go. close, but yet so far. For as real. we approached round 99, I decided to retrieve the max ammo from the Easter egg as yes. I was purposely trying to speed up the final round. Which Perfect. Yeah. Dude, 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 he only has 17 and a half hours to do GK. Like, that might sound like a lot, but if he fails even one run, uh, he might not beat it. It allowed us to complete Shinonuma 16 minutes faster than Shang and also flawless. Wow. This also leaves Incredible. us behind 17 hours and 30 ish Incredible. minutes to beat the final round 100. If there is one quote that I can leave behind for Shinonuma, it would be don't play this map unless if you have a reason. <laughs> True, like I'm, I'm laughing, but it's so true. Nobody ever plays BO3 Shinonuma. Like I'm, like it's rare. You probably finding gameplay of this map on YouTube is legitimately rare. Into let's At end last, it off with GK, baby. Let's go and A little bit of a backstory was during my 14 day challenge. It was actually my first time playing this map, and I was somehow able to reach round 100 on first try. 
Wow, not many people can do that. That being said, grinding up my second 100 was still pretty new to me. Yes. Setting up on this map is- Dude, he's only played this map twice, and each time he's played, he's got 100. This is insane. Actually quite he's simple, got this. at least for a round 100 grind. I still remember sometime after the 14 days challenge, I did a stream on this map where I spent hours just learning how to complete the EE. Then after beating- for real, the EE is, it takes a bit to learn. The boss came to a realization that my reward wasn't even permanent because supposedly you have to beat it within 90 minutes. To yes, if you don't beat it within 90 minutes, then you don't get perma perks, which also sucks if you didn't do. Keep the perkaholics. Luckily yeah. for this grind, doing the EE isn't mandatory. Interesting True. thing about this True. map is that the RNG for the Mark III is insanely good. Yeah, on GK, you get it, like, I swear, like, between 5 to 10 box hits almost every game. And I almost get a lot of games where I get it in my first two as well. Good. I don't think there's a single game where I have came across struggling to get this weapon. For and real. honestly, just makes me feel that the map just wants you to have this junk. Because the real interesting thing about this map is... It's not really the best wonder weapon to run, though, either. The real wonder weapon is actually not the Mark III, the but the shield. Yeah. On round 13, I headed over to Pack Room and... Act Especially when you upgrade it, you get four shots on it. And you can use the dragon strike as well. They made the lockdown. For some reason, the Mark III I is just for the Valkyries. required to turn on pack a punch, but doesn't hurt to be rewarded the dragon strike. Once True. you have the Mark III packed, you are pretty much ready for the early round strat. I make yeah. my way over to Stam Room also, and simply camp at right at the debris here. and spam the Mark III. The strat is quite fast, as I believe it's only a three spawn strat. But the issue with this is that eventually the Mark III will begin to fall off. The yeah. perks I've chose By for this run were quick, sure. jug, speed, and double tap. Speed was one of my picks four. due to how slow the Mark III reloads. Double tap is quite useful as you yeah i'm gonna be honest without speed cola the mark three is useless we'll need to you use aats need as part of the high round shield strat later on yeah. stammer or electric cherry would be nice if you could obtain it from the bonus perk from spawn on round 23 i true yeah you can get a fifth perk on this map grab the valkyrie helmet as you will need it for the high round strat i have Ooh, valkyrie helmet's a great play you don't need to worry about the manglers but yeah when the valkyries shoot electricity at you that's a smart idea I have to admit the valkyries are one of the most annoying things to deal with the fact that when amen especially when they did that patch and they made them fly into where the shield bunker is amen you try to shoot them and they spin around like damn i don't need to see a performance just <laughs> die please thank you and also during valkyrie round for some reason the last Val for real what is this the ballerina show bro valkyrie loves to play hide and seek with you on round for 31 real. i ended up taking my first down which was super early in the game oh, i decided to continue with the game down. and ended oh, up making a shield. stupid mistake from accidentally purchasing stem now with all the power of speak all that the strat is going to be a bit more tedious round true uh oh so yeah it would be better to run double tap 39 was the last round i stayed doing this strat as the mark yeah, 3 will start to fall terrible. off on round 40 i transitioned over to the shield strat the shield. down below in the bunker yep. room this strat will require you to rely mainly on your shield blast which consists of three charges the key yep. thing with this strat is to try to space out your blast and melee your shield so that it's about to break right before using the last blast once it breaks you want to move over to the right side and shoot your Vesper with turn, then make your way back to the table and shoot oh. a charge shot from Mark III. Before. What an interesting strat. So it's only relying on the shield. If I was him, to be honest, I feel like it would be better to do the shield upgrade. The shield upgrade is not difficult at all. Or picking up like, a new shield. And you get this an strat extra is pretty shot much a too. rinse and repeat. The yeah. trap is also there for you to help speed up the round as it's actually in a really good spot and kills a decent amount of zombies. The Valkyrie's beams... But the shield is incredible. It, tr it is true. The shield is the wonder weapon of GK. It does more damage than the mark three won't be much of an issue as you already have the helmet for reduced damage but you do want to be careful when you're near the valkyries because their movements can be unpredictable i had several scenarios yeah. where i went down due to bumping into them and getting stuck another troublesome feature about you're this so map annoying. are the manglers it's crazy how if i was him i'd run the gauntlet too i feel like the gauntlet would help you so much how strong your blasts and melees are and often at times it just seems like an instant Shit's down on round good. 41 i took my second down oh, at man. first i thought it was due to the mangler because of how quickly I went down. But after rewinding yeah, it, it seems like I shot my Mark III in a bad spot. And Oh, yeah. He didn't slow the zombies behind him. Ended up getting triple slapped by the zombies. I At see. this point, I decided to restart my run since we're only... Wow, so this is his first reset, other than Rev. Rev, I don't count because he got a blue screen. An hourish in the game. Then on second game, we ended up downing on round 14, which was oh, another restart. No. Third game, down on round 10, <gasps> another restart. Oh, no. Dude, this is... Welcome to Grod Crovey. Fourth game, round nine. Like, damn. Oh. I might as well rename this challenge as round zero challenge. <laughs> 
Dude, and only 15 rounds or 15 hours for Garad now. He has to do it. At this point, I was getting really, really frustrated oh, as for some reason wow. it was hard for me to focus properly. We wasted two and a half hours already and yet we couldn't get a game going on. Knowing that the timer is ticking and I was already burned out as hell, the pressure yeah. for the final round 100 oh was overwhelming. Gosh. Then I finally, finally managed to get a game going. Let's we repeated go. the stamp strat up to 39 Let's and go. rotated to the bunker once again on round 40. I actually got lucky somehow on this game because I managed to complete the side quest, which granted me a free perk, the Electric Cherry. Which Huge, that easily saved him. That also gives you some time to shoot the shield too. It allows you to stun at any moment. I would probably say maybe getting Electric Cherry over Double Tap might be the play here. Which is probably the best to get awarded out of wow. the option. We managed yeah. to hit round 50 at about an hour 30 minutes, which really shows how fast this map can be. For wow. Gobble Gums, you really only need either Plain Sight or anywhere but here since Alchemical isn't required when using the Shield Blast. That is true. Yeah, you just need things that cause you to be uh, avoided by the zombies. That's, That's true. One interesting fact about this map is that it has one of the biggest restrictions in order to achieve round 255, which is yes. to fully avoid killing Valkyries for the entire game. That being said, the only time you should... That is ridiculous. And the fact that there is a human being that has done that for 255 is insane. Insane. To be killing them are either at the end of the round or during Valkyrie rounds. Otherwise, your game will crash. It's wow. also unfortunate that you can't rely on the Gauntlet Specialist for higher rounds because apparently it will cause the same outcome. It will cause blue screens, yeah. But I mean, for round 100, it's probably safe, but not for 255. Even up to today, I'm still clueless on how these things work besides sending out my baby dragon. <laughs> yeah, the, gaunt the Gauntlet is, uh, it caused a lot of errors, but it's a great wonder weapon. For though. the rest of the game, I had a couple close calls. Yep. GK, we like. Ooh, with the Valkyrie. Ooh, huge anywhere but here. Oh, dude, they just, they're too big. They cover up so much space. Like, they can literally block the whole freaking wide doorway. That's like three peoples in terms of length, man. That's just, it's just ridiculous. Wow, great recoveries, though. I guess the reason they don't grab the upgraded shield then is because it takes longer to break the upgraded shield, so it's not actually worth that extra shot. So, I mean, that does make sense. Finally, was trying to go for a wow. sub six hours. However, six he hours did it and with eight hours seconds, remaining. We finally completed the last round Ooh! of 100 and the final flawless. Wow. We were also left with approximately eight hours and 36 Incredible. minutes remaining for the challenge, which was prepared for my next special wow. map called Time to Sleep. This has <laughs> That's a sick map. I play that map every single day. Came my longest stream I've ever done wow. in 19.5 hours straight with roughly a 15 minutes eating break only. This that has been a one insane. heck of a seven day grind and Incredible absolutely I felt destroyed, insomnia. demolished, and For dismantled. Real. I started this challenge with the initial impression that I wouldn't be able to complete it. But you need to go to sleep for the next week, my guy. Seeing all the support and motivation wow. that you guys Incredible have given me, I strive with all of my effort to make it possible to complete this challenge. Wow. Not only in 14 days but, but seven days seven wow nobody's beating this listen i said seven days would be the fastest nobody is beating this you can't prove me wrong nobody can do this the fastest i would say even if with two people could potentially be like five days but no you can't do this in a day you can't do this in two days these round 100s take forever so there we go Incredible Lastly, job I want to give a here. massive shout out to my boy Sien, who has job. worked extremely hard in helping to edit this one this hour montage video, with me. Bro. Dropping great a like edit. on this video would mean the I world to the both of us. And before I let you all go, I just I have one like. question. Let us know in the comment section below which map did you enjoy watching me grind to round 100 the most. And Actually, I would say Zetsubo. The way you clutch that Thrasher kill at round 92, I believe, that was very impressive. That was some of the most game knowledge i've ever seen in zombies ladies and gentlemen go check out Why? insomnia Thank virus you guys all once this again, man we'll see is all absolutely incredible ladies and gentlemen go check it out 93 hours of in-game time you gotta go give this man some love ladies and gentlemen it's been an absolute pleasure and i'll see y'all in that next one baby